Yo, so Nike has finally come around and updated their Nike Dunk Low and I'm here for it. Instead of them just giving some colorway and adding a couple different type of materials on the sneaker, they have updated this in a new, completely different way. So we gonna talk about it, man. Y'all know how we do it. Let's get right to it. Roll my camera, please. Yeah. What's good, Cam Crew? It's your homeboy, Cam Quarter Banks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit that like button, and drop a comment down below and let me know you're rocking with the team. You dig. All right, now today we are talking about some dunks that's being upgraded in a different way. And I'm not just talking about simple color patterns or adding different type of material to the sneaker and then giving it a name for the concept. This is something completely remastered, and I'm here for it. So what I'm talking about is the new Nike Dunk Low Remastered 3.0. And the name speaks for itself. Yes, it's remastered. I've been wanting Nike to do something like this for a long time. I mean, they already done gave, they tried the Nike Hirachis and that didn't do too well, but I wanted to see what they did with the Dunk and they actually killed it. It was just a few weeks ago that everybody got to see what the Nike Dunk Low Remastered 3.0s look like. Now, I was actually excited about it because the new look on here looks more rugged than we see with the SBs, the SPs. Those are general looks in this concept. Now, looking at this sneaker, it doesn't actually give any type of price weight so for anybody that's actually thinking of like what's the price right now we don't have a price right now hopefully it stays in that 100 150 maybe pushing it i mean it is a creative sneaker is dropping it's going to be completely different and if they're doing a general release to everybody i'm pretty sure they are boosted up just a little bit because it's remastered it's the the style completely looks different so they might boost it up to about 125 150 i'm just thinking right now now the colorway on here is green olive and orange with a hint of brown in there and i actually think that it's dope because it gives more of this home woodsy moody type of aesthetic that it's on here you put those four type of colors together and it's going to get that fall accent to what you wear if i'm looking at the outer and the midsole i think that it's fire because i feel that it gives more definition into this sneaker itself now we already know how the sbs and the sps look like at the bottom and the outer sole but at the same time if you look at these it gives more of a defined look when it comes to this or maybe that's just the color that's on here that's actually making a shadow pop the way that it should but i feel that it does give more definition and an in-depth look at the outer sole and the midsole now still staying at the midsole of the shoe when we move forward to the front you'll be able to see that there's actually like this rubber this thick rubber front so it actually makes the front of the toe area look a little bit smaller i think that that's fire because it gives more of that muscle strong presentation that i was saying from the beginning now get into the upper itself you'll see that it's all smooth leather that's on this entire sneaker and i think that's a great idea i don't think it would have been a smart idea if it was like leather or a hard suede or something like that this is a great idea to have it being really classical and just starting off with the smooth leather now with them having this smooth leather that's on here you can actually see that they are now playing with different fabrics as well because they have on the front of the toe and on the side panel of the sneaker you'll see that they actually have mesh that's on here so it can make sure that your sneaker breathe but at the same time it fits more comfortable and i think that was a great idea Instead of being suede, they went to a more of a mesh to make it more sporty and bendable and flexible at the same time. This is what gives me the idea to think that this is meant to be walked in. It's meant to walk and crease up just a little bit. It has the mesh. It's meant for you to do things like that. And it's fine if you do. Now, one of my favorite parts is the swoosh itself because it does look a little bit fatter to me, but it also leads to the back of the sneaker itself. What's cool to me is that it goes all the way around the entire sneaker. So you can actually see that the swoosh normally does on any type of dunk. You'll see that the swoosh goes all the way to the back, but you'll see that there's a flap that says Nike on the back. In this case, there is no flap that's on the back. So you get to see the entire logo of the swoosh and it goes all the way around the sneaker and there's no sign or flap on the back that says Nike. In this matter, they have an orange stitching that's on the back of this brown pad that you see on here. On the brown mesh that they have on the back of the heel, you'll see some orange stitching that's going on. That is like the outline of where normally you'll have that patch, that flap that's there that says Nike. So in this case, it's not there and that stitching is actually a pretty good idea. Now, if you look at the front, you'll actually see that they have this exposed foam for the tongue. And it's a little bit extended further out where normally you'll have your laces tying at the bottom of the sneaker. You'll actually see that it's extended a little bit further out and it actually makes the front of the sneaker, the toe itself, looks a little bit small with this front rubber being a little bit larger and then you have that exposed extended tongue that's sticking out you make the front of the shoe look a little bit smaller and that's a creative idea as well 
Now, in addition to that, on top of the tongue, you will actually have like a strip of this canvas that's on here. Even though it is a lot of things that's going on at one time, it's hidden in plain daylight. It's right there in front of your face, but at the same time, it just looks good. It's not sloppy and it's all put together well. And then to finish it off on the sides, the dunks got wings. I don't think it's really no any necessary need for it to be there, but I mean, hey, if you're gonna have a hidden gem that's right in front of your face and you wanna actually have a wing stick out or something like that, that's up to you. But I actually think this is a creative idea. I think it's fire. Now this is set to drop in the beginning of 2023. So I'm hoping in the first quarter that this is actually gonna drop. Like this in the first quarter will be a fire concept. This will be a fire idea to drop it right off the bat, start the year off the right way and bring it home with some dunks in a fire way. With that being said, I wanna actually hear your comments. I wanna see your comments down below. Let me know how y'all feel about this. Do you think they actually did a good job with remastering this dunk? Do you think they should only stay with the standard SP and SB dunks that they have? Drop those comments down below. But with that being said, man, I'm gonna get up out of here, man. I'm gonna catch up with y'all next time. Y'all already know the vibes, man. I'm out. I'm gone. I'll holler at y'all, all right? Peace.